Hey there! Today we'll have a look at this pen. This pen was sent to be by Marcus. And uh, thank you, Marcus. I appreciate it. And I found this a very interesting pen because it's from a Chinese brand that I had never used before. Uh, Guangdong Genvana. Uh, for some reason, Genvana sounded Indian to me, but apparently it is a, a Chinese manufacturer of pens. Well, here we go. I don't have a model number of this pen, so I'm just going to refer to it refer to it as the Genvana, and that's the way it's going to be. Um, I'll cover the parts of the pen, I'll tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and then I'll do a writing sample. If you look at this pen, then the Parker Jewel Fold may come to mind. So I assume that it was modeled after that. It has very similar uh, looks, but of course it has some differences as well. Let's start at the top of the pen. Finial, nothing. Blackness. Complete blackness. Very nice, shiny and reflective. Now we have this clip with a nice ball at the end. Uh, and we have, I don't know if you can see it, but right there at the top it says Genvana. Then you have the, uh, the cap. I think it's a nice material, looks cool. And you have the two bands that Jewel Folds also have. And they're tight, which is good. Nice attention to detail. Barrel, little ring, and then a step down. There, you can see that. Yeah. Cap unscrews. Cap light, very top heavy. I don't know, it, it's, it looks like there's a slab of metal at the end there, so it's really heavy. You have a section, tapers down, then flares out again, and a small nib, uh, where, number five. It says Iridium Point Germany, and it has a little feed, and the feed says E on the back. Okay. Takes standard international cartridges, uh, and again, barrel, super heavy at the end. I, it's very interesting that they have weighted that a bit. Okay, now you have that tapered end, and that means normally you can post it, and um, that kind of works with this pen, but not as smoothly as I expected it when I tried this the first time. So it will definitely stay on there, but it doesn't have a nice satisfying click and you need to sort of half turn the pen to make it stay well. And then you have something that I think looks like a jewel fold. What do I like about it? What do I not like about it? I think it's a nice material. It looks nice. It's, it, it really has nice pattern, uh, it looks well made, uh, there are no giant issues that I can see. The gold plating, well gold plating, the, the gold colored material actually looks like gold, uh, that's, that's good. I like the, the um, I wouldn't be, no, I can't read really much out of it's an engraving, a laser engraving or an etching of Ganvana, but it looks decent. It's crisp enough. And I think for a pen of this, this caliber, uh, it, it's definitely a, a nice looking pen. Uh, I think the nib, going on to things I don't like so much, uh, the nib could maybe be a little bit bigger. I think this would look very cool with a number 6 nib. Uh, this is a, a bit small. The nib is also super hard. It's a nail. It's very, very rigid. And it would be nice if it would have yielded a little bit more, because now the writing experience is very rigid and a bit scratchy. On the other hand, if they were really going for a jewel fold thing, the original jewel folds did have very rigid nibs. So, in a way, maybe that was the intention. I don't know. I fear not, but it's possible. Okay, you have a very strong... Well, maybe I shouldn't say very strong, but you have a step down from the barrel and it's very sharp. This is a very rigid 90 degree angle, uh, making this a bit sharp. But the section is very comfortable, it's very pleasant to hold, and again, I think it looks nice. I think it's a nice material. So there you have it. This pen by Guangdong... Guangdong... I, I can't really pronounce it. Guangdong Genvana. Um, I think it's nice. So, measurements of the pen you can find on my website, sbrebrown.com, as well as high-resolution pictures of the pen and writing with the pen. Marcus, thanks for sending me this pen, I appreciate it. And guys, let's do a writing sample. I hope this was useful so far, and I'll gladly see you later.
Bye bye. Okay, so here we go with this pen. The Genvana brand. Uh, I'm going to call it Jewel Fold. They don't. So I'm just doing it because it's a Jewel Fold type model. The nib is definitely fine and the ink is Montblanc Royal Blue. It's a very hard nib, very rigid. As I said earlier too. I wouldn't call it scratchy because it 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 doesn't have unpleasant feedback, but it does have a lot of feedback because it is so hard, it doesn't yield as you write. But it doesn't really skip that much either, which of course is a very nice thing. Now then, the wetness of the pen. Very hard, very dry. So that could be um, uh, tuned a bit. Would, I mean, I would, if this was something that I would want to get a bit wetter, uh, that's definitely what I would do. Okay, line variation, well you see you can squeeze out a bit, but as I said, it's a pretty rigid nib. The nice thing about that is that you get really thick and thin lines in a contrast, if you like such a thing. But I also think this is the nib that you can bend easily because it is so hard. You can turn it around. It actually does reasonably well in reverse writing. Uh, it gets a bit drier, but it does write and doesn't get very scratchy, so that's nice. And uh, that's all there's to it. So, Marcus, I'm doing really weird unseals here, sorry. Uh, thanks for sending me this pen, I, uh, I really appreciate it. And uh, I hope this was useful, and I'll gladly see you later.